Hello everybody, this is Yoko Cinema Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Cross Classroom of the Elite, Episode 1. Um, for some reason, uh, they don't have the dub yet on Crunchyroll because I went to go look at it and all they had was the sub. They didn't have a little pull-down menu where I could pull down, you know, the English dub or the Spanish dub or whatever. So I guess they hadn't gotten around to getting it on there yet. So I had to go to another site and get the Episode 1 there. Anyway, if you want Classroom of the Elite to win, you guys know the drill. Get as many views, likes, subscribers on the video on the video by April 1st or sooner if there's a clear winner as po early as quickly as possible. So be ready. Anyway, um, most of the characters in this show I've forgotten the name of already, especially the main character. The main character kind of feels like like a monotone type of voice and the way he the way his facial expression is he doesn't really have much of a facial expression so it's like what is up with this guy anyway he ends up in a very very fancy prestigious school where essentially anybody who goes to that school is essentially set for life where they go to college and they can get an amazing job he ends up in class 1D with a bunch of other people and they think nothing of it because, you know, they're just in the classroom. And while they're there, they have to stay on campus. They can't leave. They have, like, very limited ways to leave, or time to leave. And they have everything they need there. And they have points they can spend, like money. And they were all given 100,000 points, which equates to 100,000 yen. Obviously, they think that this is going to be the norm of what they get every month. So they think nothing of spending it. To be completely honest, you wouldn't see me spending that much money. I'd get the cheap stuff. I wouldn't go splurging unless it's one certain thing I wanted and even then it probably wouldn't be much. Because I wouldn't know if it would roll over and I'd get even more than 100,000. Like let's say if you spend like 50,000 of it and the next of the month comes and you get 100,000 again and then you'd end up with 150,000. Or if it would just go back straight up to 100000 no matter how much you spent. So that's what everybody thought. And some of them are really living la vida loca, essentially, by spending the money on crazy stuff. Not even caring because they think, oh, I'm going to get the same amount next month. It ain't going to matter. And the bad thing is that that wouldn't have mattered had they paid attention to their studies. Had they, you know, paid attention in class, did their work, showed up showed up on time, you know, all that stuff. If they had done all that, it probably wouldn't have mattered if they had spent all that money. Because many of them were, like I said, sleeping in class. Some of them didn't even show up to class. Some of them were on their phones, wa uh, watching their tablets or reading their tablets, not even paying attention to class. And they were never disciplined, which I thought was kind of odd. And the main characters is trying... There's a girl in the class that wants to be friends with everybody and she tries to go and spend trying to be friends with the main other main girl in the class who essentially is a loner and doesn't want friends essentially she wants to be alone or at least seems to want to be alone. And she refuses essentially and yeah, doesn't want to be around either of them now. Come to find out at the beginning of the next month they got nothing. And the teacher had even said at the beginning of the month that your time here, essentially your value here is based on your merit alone. And if, like I said, if they had, had done everything they were supposed to do, they would have gotten that same amount. But since they didn't, and they, were be, they weren't doing what they were supposed to do, they got nothing. So now a bunch of them have nothing to be able to live on for food until next month. Which means they got to step up their game or do something, they got to figure out something. Or else they're going to starve. Obviously, the main male character didn't really spend a whole lot. He barely spent, uh, didn't even spend 20000 So, yeah, they're going to have to either pool their resources together until the next month and make sure that they are essentially the best of the best in order to get their money back. Or something's going to get to give on this one. Anyway, um... Like I said, if you want this one to win, make sure to do what you need to do, and I will see you all next time.